So glad you could be with us this week. I'm Tamsin Fidel. We're just a little over a month away from the return of Broadway musicals in New York City. But this week, Phantom of the Opera returns to London. Paul Wontora caught up with Lucy St. Louis. She plays Christine Daae on the West End stage. Where, where are your emotions right now? <laughs> They're off the scale right now. I'm literally here at the rehearsal studios because I've just finished for the day. Um, and I've literally just been learning Masquerade. And it is just amazing and i love that number specifically because everyone is a part of it and you get to hear the full ensemble and it is just electric is it safe to say that this was a dream role and this was maybe on your secret board this is more than a dream role this is something that i have loved this score from the moment i heard it when i was really young and it has lived through me through many years and I never thought really that it was ever possible but there was a part of me that hoped that it could be and now I'm just so grateful to be in this position because it is such a dream and I know especially being a woman of colour and I know that other women of colour have wanted this dream as well to be in this position and to show them we are able to be in this space there's something so powerful about seeing yourself or seeing someone who looks like you yeah. in a position of either storytelling or power or whatever, or whatever it is, because then you know that you can do the same. So is it safe to assume that Andrew Lloyd Webber showed up at your concerts in like dark sunglasses <laughs> and a hat and was like, there she is, that's my next Christine Daae. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um, no, I, I, I don't think that happened. <laughs> but, you know, I think, you know, the word got out. And, yeah. and I think the more people saw it, the more it opened up people's minds to an, yeah. another possibility. and. Yeah, it, it was, it's just very special. But you did uh, get to audition for him. What, what was the experience like of actually going in for this role officially? Oh gosh, well, my agent phoned me and said, okay, Andrew Lloyd Webber wants to meet you in person. And at the time I was cooking and he just said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm cooking. He was like, okay, just turn everything off and step back just for a minute because what I'm gonna tell you is gonna shock you. And nearly fell to the floor. And my husband uh, kind of, you know, came to me and was like, what's going on? What's going on? Is everything okay? And I was just in complete shock. And it was just, it was just amazing. I couldn't believe that in that moment, he wanted to meet me. So talk a little bit about the energy level uh, in the rehearsal room among your peers. What, what is it like right now? Oh, it is off the scale electric. Obviously, you know, everything is being safe, but the energy of just getting back into a room and being creative is something we've all been craving for so long. 